of different traditions. So it starts with Native American, it goes into a salsa kind of rhythm, it goes into a disco kind of rhythm, a more trancey kind of rhythm, and then comes back down to a song that is phenomenal that Pamela brought to my attention. And um, Nako is the artist of that last song, and it kind of pulls it all together, that, that last song. He's very futuristic and very past, and I think that you'll feel that. One of the differences with the Kai bodies of work, I call them bows, so if you think of a bow and arrow, the bow is the part that you pull back, the tension or the form. The arrow is your spirit. And what I invite you to do is to really play. So any time that your body wants to go into some kind of different footwork than the form that I'm offering, please follow it. Dance in and around us. Come down and stretch when you need to. Add sound when you need to. Add your expression when you need to. Know that it's not about being perfect at all. In fact, it's more about being imperfect and sensing those imperfections and loving them. So we'll play with your arrow and your bow. And um, there's something else I want to say. With the, with the Kai routines, my vision at this point with them is that they start very loosely, and then the choreography has one song in each routine that's tight. It's a three-minute song in this routine. When it's tight, that means the changes are very quick. And what you want to do is stay loose when those changes get tight. Stay relaxed. Notice where's your personal expression. Try not to let it be all about getting the steps, and yet it can be your challenge each time. And then it spirals back out to be very loose again. So really good for the brain to learn those quick changes, the agility, and then also to let it go and let yourself really explore different places when you're freestyle moving. And then today, so all that information, so teachers can gather that, today we're focusing on feet and earth. And that was also the intent of this routine, that we connect to the 27 bones in each of our feet, including the toes and the heels, the arches, and the muscles, and that we awaken sensation in our feet, more than we had when we came in, at least, and over time, maybe even more than we've ever had, that we can continuously travel into different parts of our feet and gather more information. Grounding is that. It's not gripping the floor or hanging on for dear life. It's really relaxing and being one with the earth and feeling that earth energy is a life force you can connect to, you can play with, it can help you feel stable so that you can then move through life and do whatever it is you want to do. So with that, we'll begin just feeling that connection to the earth. Jayanti, if the lighting is better with the lights on, there's a switch right behind you. Okay. Here, whatever you think. I'll try it. 